been ambushed by a Sith battle fleet. The Endar Spire is under attack. I'm Trask Olgo, ensign with the Republic fleet. I'm your bunkmate here on the Endar Spire. We work opposite shifts. I guess that's why you haven't seen me before. Now hurry up. We have to find Bastila. We have to make sure she makes it off the ship alive. Bastil is the commanding officer on the Endar Spire. Well, not an officer, really, but she's the one in charge of this mission. One of our primary duties is to guarantee her survival in the event of an enemy attack. You swore an oath just like everyone else on this mission. Now it's time to make good on that oath. You've explored the farthest reaches of the get I've never even heard of. People with your skills it's no wonder the Republic recruited you for this mission. Prove yourself. I know you're a scout and that needs all troops at her side during this attack. So hurry up and get suit up so we can get out of here. Okay, let's move out. We should stick together. On your own. Because of the attack, this room is in lockdown. But don't worry, I've got the override codes. You'll have to use me to unlock the door. Now that the door is open, you better take the lead again. This is Cardinal Nassi. The Sith are threatening to overrun our position. We can't hold out long against their firepower. All hands to the bridge! That was Karth contacting us on our portable communicators. He's one of the Republic's best pilots. He's seen more combat than the rest of the Endar Spire's crew put together. If he says things are bad, you better believe it. We have to get to the bridge to help defend Bastila. There's a map of the Endar Spire and a copy of Karth's message in your electronic journal, just in case we get separated. You'll have to use your security skill. No problem. Got it. These Sith must be the advanced boarding party for the Republic!
It's a dark Jedi. This fight is back. All we do is get in the way. That was one of the Jedi Company Booster Help. Bridge. They must have retreated to the escape. The Sith want Bastila alive, but once she's off the ship, there's nothing stopping them from blasting the Endar Spire into galactic dust. Something behind here. Damn, another dark Jedi. I'll try to hold him off. You get to the escape pods. Go! on your personal communicator. I'm tracking your position through the Endar Spire's life support systems. Basilis escape pod is away. You're the last surviving crew member on the Endar Spire. Now, I can't wait for you much longer. You have to get to the escape pods. Sith troopers on the other side of that door. You, numbers. you could reprogram the damage if you have enough repair parts. Or you could use commands into the terminal and use the Endar Spire Sith.
You've made it just in time. There's only one active escape pod left. Come on, we can hide out on the planet below. I'm a soldier with the Republic, like you. We're the last two crew members left of the Endar Spire. Vassal's escape pod's already gone, so there's no reason for us to stick around here and get shot by the Sith. Now, come on! There'll be time for questions later. Vassal's escape pod's already gone, so there's no reason for us to stick around here and get shot by the Sith. Come! Good to see you up instead of thrashing about in your sleep. You must have been having one hell of a nightmare. I was wondering if you were ever going to wake up. I'm Karth, one of the Republic soldiers from the Endar Spire. I was with you in the escape pod. Do you remember? Well, you've been slipping in and out of consciousness for a couple of days now, so I imagine you're pretty confused about things. But try not to worry. We're safe. At least for the moment. We're in an abandoned apartment on the planet of Terrace. We were banged up pretty bad when our escape pod crashed, but luckily I wasn't seriously hurt. I was able to drag you away from our crash site in all the confusion, and I stumbled into this abandoned apartment. By the time the Sith arrived on the scene, we were long gone. Terrace is under Sith control. Their fleet is... ...absorbed to law, and they've imposed a planet-wide quarantine. I saw in your service records that you understand remarkable... That's pretty rare in a raw recruit, but it should There is no way the Republic will be able to help us. If we're going to find Bastos, we can't rely on anybody but ourselves. That smack to your head did more damage than I thought. Bastila's is a Jedi. She was with the strike team that killed Darth Revan, Malak's Sith Master. Bastil is the key to the whole Republic war effort. The Sith must have found out that she was on the Endor Spire and set an ambush for us in this system. I believe Bastil was on one of the escape pods that crashed down here in Terrace. For the sake of the Republic war effort, we have to try and find her. Bastila is no ordinary Jedi. She has a rare gift the Jedi call battle meditation. Bastila's power higher armies, through the Force, Bastila can inspire her allies with confidence and make her enemies lose their will to fight. Often that's all it takes to tip the balance in a battle. Of course there are limits to what she can do, but from what I understand of her ability, it requires great concentration and focus to maintain her battle meditation. She happened so fast, she never had a chance to Like us, she barely got out alive. Bastila's gonna need our help. Many of Darth Malak's followers can use the dark side of the Force, and the Sith have already killed more than their share of Jedi in this war. Nobody will be looking for a couple of common soldiers like us, and if we're careful, we can move about the planet without attracting notice. A luxury Bastila won't have. She's gonna have half the Sith fleet looking for her. They know how important she is to the war effort. The whole planet is under quarantine. No ships can land or take off. So if Bastila's gonna escape Terrace, she's gonna need our help. And we'll probably need hers. While you were out, I did some scouting around. There are reports of a couple of escape pods crashing down into the Undercity. It's probably a good place to start. But the Undercity's a dangerous place. We don't want to go there unprepared, and it won't do Basil any good if we go and get ourselves killed.
do whatever I can, though I, I don't know how much help, but everything much common knowledge. He escaped the trap, Sith Master, with Revan's death. Lord, it's obvious that Malik's a ruth. Anyone who stands in his way, just like Revan was. Experience has shown that the Sith won't stop until the Republic lies in ruins. Malik and his Sith don't respect anything except Imagine how someone who used to be a Jedi could become such a monster. Malak and Revan were once both part of the Jedi Order, but they were young and headstrong, and against the wishes of the Council, they went to battle the Mandalorians on the Outer Rim. Something happened out there. Something corrupted them and drew them over to the dark side. Or maybe there was something rotten inside them all along. I don't know. They formed an army of ex-Republic soldiers and Jedi who had fallen to the dark side, with Revan at their head, until Revan was killed by Bastille. It didn't slow the Sith down. Malak just stroll. He took control of the Sith Armada and resumed the bloody conquest of the Outer Worlds. Well, I hope you're right. But the Republic hasn't been able to stop them so far, even with the support of the Jedi Council. I think Bastila may be the galaxy's last hope. Good idea. We can use this abandoned apartment as a base. And we can probably get some equipment and supplies here in the upper city. Just remember to keep a low profile. I've heard some grim stories about the Dark Jedi interrogation techniques. They say the Force can do terrible things to a mind. It can wipe away your memories and destroy your very identity. But I figure if we don't do anything stupid, we should be okay. I mean, after all, they're, they're looking for Basila, not a couple of grunts like us. All right, soldier, let's move out. Right, you alien scum. Every more, this is a ray. That's not mouth aliens. Now the rest of you, get up against the wall before I lose my temper again. What's this? Humans hiding out with aliens? They're Republic fugitives! Attack!
Sure. Well, what, what's where you're walking? I just clean those floors. My name's Kadir. Building. You must be the new tenant. You thought they'd rent that abandoned apartment. Like an off-worlder. What happened? You get stuck here because of the quarantine? Can't see any other reason someone would want to rent that old apartment. Don't know how much I can tell you, but seeing as how you're new here, I guess I can try and help you out. Not much of an issue for me, you know. I ain't never left Tars, and they ain't never gonna. A lot of other folks are sure riled up about it, but I don't really know much about it. But there's plenty of people will be more than happy to tell you what they are quarantine. Just keep complex ring until you come to the out to the upper streets there then and south of ways you can't miss it. I should get back to work. Or see you around. I'm, I'm here most of the time. Self, you know. Problem. Got it. Monapata, Bonanacachu, Yinki Tong Hai Guam, Tiji, Jung Lumpa, Nita Poe Tikito, Dolpa da Bongwaleo, Gondona Chuchut, Kachi Chu Ita Dundoga, Yumalita Kuto Tun, Chilamulan and Nidupobo, Wonga Kumbis Chang Ba Mulera. Runda di hotonga kun honka bi. Wana kun bez ching palamule tonking ba nunotak. Tog ning chatu kun ne mule rabes. Chikun ita haudonga, ye king kuno ba mulera chikun. Slimo po dona rundi haudonga ku hunkabe. Tong abu. Wanga kumbis king. Bale. Chuni yon tun chichi. Ipapa volpa bulje kumana. Ita. What are you, ma? Ah, But one of us be ching palamule. Tan. Kibat panka. Ching pala. Tunarana nu prata. A woman of tooth gave a toma. I do Lord Jai, King Kuno Ogun, Jan Shak Bular, Rashi, On Chuban Yish, Chika Gratung, Kun Chicha Kun, Kun Ra, Bogra Walan, 
Neci Chuna Chuba Ching Takun. We tam Mulira Shang Tur Rungata Twanga Chun Tise Jijiwa Watajuma Huhuna Tek. Chi Kashi on the Ukumba Chin Tondo Muchuba Loda Nita Kun Ida Patisa Batua Kachatu Tong Bagra Shakun Tijaka Um Chubakaha Chopa Chawachuish Yunku Jodo Jin Bungaranta Muchishat Bakat Kiyinono Dama Paule Rachikun Achuta, unga kun bis dolpi kikuyana, don patugas bakkelea. Yes? Can't just come barging into someone's home. You can't just go around barging into people's apartments, but at least you're more polite than that. Just one of Darvik's men who, but all he got for his trouble was a nasty. Too bad I'm the one still paying the price. I, I don't want to talk trouble already. Besides, I don't know if I can try. Okay, I'll tell you. J just try and stay calm. The last thing I need is trouble with you and Holden. Holden's a spiteful little hut slug. He went and put out a bounty on my head for what I did. That's why I'm hiding out here.
I doubt it. Holden is one of Darvik's men. When you work for the local crime lord, the authorities tend to turn a blind eye. I'm afraid this is between me and Holden now. You could try, I guess. He usually hangs out at the cantina in the lower city. It probably won't do any good. Holden's used to getting his own way. That's one of the fringe benefits of being a goon for Darvik. Working for the local crime lord lets you get away with things. Still, I appreciate the offer. Goodbye and good luck. I hope you can talk some sense into Holden. What's on your mind? Me? Well, I've been a star pilot for the Republic for years. Seen more than my share of wars. I fought in the Mandalorian Wars before all this started. But with all that, I've never experienced anything like the slaughter of these Sith animals can reach. My homeworld was one of the first planets to fall. The Sith bombed it into submission, and there wasn't a... It shouldn't be my fault. I did everything I did and did my duty. That, that shouldn't mean I failed them. your questions. I'm just not accustomed to talking about at all, actually. I'm more used to taking on the business at hand. So let's just do that. Ask them later. I haven't seen you in my shop before. Introduce myself. My name is Kevin to the Equipment Emporium. You look at the shop's the largest one in all of Upper Terrace. Best selection on the planet. Whatever you need, I've got. Well, mostly. Mostly? What do you mean by that? The Sith confiscated all my heavy weapons and they impounded all my ships and swoop bikes. But I've still got a real nice selection, if you're interested. Anything I can do to help a potential customer out. What do you want to know? I heard a couple of pods crash down in the Undercity. I bet the crash sites have already been stripped clean by the Sith, though. Unless the Swoop Gangs or Dabix Men got there first. I don't have anything good to say about those swoop gangs. Zooming around on their swoop bikes, terrorizing the lower city like a bunch of animals. Things weren't so bad when the hidden Vex were running the show. But ever since the rise of the Black Volker gang, <laughs> the lower city has been nothing short of a war zone. The Sith haven't even bothered trying to maintain order down there. And I heard a rumor that Davik's own people are having problems with the Black Volkers now. Oh, Davik's... And if you get my drift, some distortion. Mm -hmm. They say he's a member of the big intergalactic criminal organization. 
The exchange. Bad organization to cross. But if anyone has blockade breaking ships, however, it's them. I have to pay them a protection fee every month, but it's reasonable. And I get most of my inventory through Davik and his suppliers. So I'm just smart enough not to ask where it came from, you understand? Davik hates the Sith as much as anybody. The quarantine has put a real dent in his operations, too. But he's keeping a low profile as long as the occupation lasts. <laughs> Davik stays out of the way, and the Sith don't bother him. The swoop gangs could learn a thing or two from this way is going after each other. Uh, smart to say bad things about the people. people get my meaning. I just wish the sick thing on there killing my business. I'm in Upper City, but it could be worse, and we're still see what with those swoop gangs and all. Forlders, aren't you? Come to Terrace for Chuck here because of the Sith quarantine, right? Trapped on an unfamiliar world. The Terrace isn't so bad as long as you stay. Try to avoid the Sith and stay. Our gangs are totally out of control. Even that. Good day to you then. Uh, remember to come back to my shop if you ever need any supplies. Welcome to the equip. Uh, just so you know, the prices on the items are our final. No bargaining here. This isn't a swap meet, okay? I only deal in top notch stuff. On official Sith business. No problem. Gavik says you missed your last payment. Here, I I've got 50 credits, a down payment. That should buy me some time, right? Sorry, you're out of time. Now it's all or nothing. Gavik can't have people not paying his debts. But I don't have that much. How can I give you credits I don't have? No, help! Somebody help! They're going to kill me! I know we have to be careful about drawing attention to ourselves, but we can just let them drag this guy off? Hold on a second. Looks like we got ourselves a witness here. <laughs> Oh, 
Hunters are going to take me away and kill me. My wife warned me not to take a loan from Tavik. Now I can't pay him back. It's not good to owe a crime lord money. He'll just keep sending more bounty hunters after me till I'm dead. He helped me by saving me from those bounty hunters. 100 credits to give me so I can pay off Tavik. I do. I'm getting out of here before any more of them. You should do the same. Can't you see I'm busy with my duty? It's okay if you need something. An off-worlder. Still, I will not have it said that Selka Foran refused to help with Taris. Do you require healing or medical supplies? Ailment right here at the medical facility. The terrible affliction of generations. It is spread by the Rexters that live in the Undercity below Terrace's. Prolonged exposure to the Undercity breeds. that would eventually mutate into becoming mindless beasts that feed on the. Mm, there is no antidote for the disease. Though I heard the Republic scientists at the military base here on Terrace were close to perfecting a cure. Then the Sith arrived. They overran the military base, and now they refuse to allow anyone access to the laboratories inside. The Sith are keeping all the serum for the patrols they send into the Undercity. If I could just get my hands on a sample of that serum, the Ghoul disease could be wiped from the face of Terrace forever. But I don't see how that's going to happen. see how anyone could get their hands on that serum. The military base is crawling with Sith guards. Breaking in there would be a suicide mission. I suppose the Sith patrols in the Undercity might have a sample of the serum on them, if they hadn't already used it because of a rat ghoul infection. But I doubt a patrol... And nobody is stupid enough to attack... ...the Undercity. Please, don't say that. If the Sith hear you, they might think I'm suggesting you start attacking their patrols. They could shut me down. I only mentioned the serum because you asked. I don't actually expect anyone to get me the serum. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Of course. Just step over here and I'll show you what I have in stock. My prices are very reasonable. Just what I need to keep this facility operating.
No problem. Got it. What are you doing? Don't go in there. That door is for employees only. Uh, nothing. This... this isn't your concern. Just... just forget you saw anything, okay? I, uh... I guess I'd better tell you what's going on. I only hope the Sith don't find out what I've done. Since the space battle overhead, people have been secretly bringing in these Republic soldiers who crash-landed on the planet. I had to take them in. What choice did I have? Their injuries are terrible. Most won't survive. But at least I can make their last days more comfortable. And at least here, they're hidden away from the Sith. Well, for that, you have my thanks. It's good to know that at least some of these men ended up in compassionate hands. Do if they discovered these soldiers here. Sith have not returned, so it may be my... I'm afraid there's nothing more anyone can... Now, if you'll excuse me, I should return to the front medical attention. Wait a minute. What about the rat gold serum? You might want to hear. to get his hands on the rat ghouls. Sir Kang will pay you ten times what Zelka can if you can get the cure. Oh, come on. Everybody knows who David Kang is. He's the big boss around here. Gambling, smuggling, extortion. He's got a piece of all the action on Taris. Davik's interested in anything that can turn a profit. He could make a fortune selling the serum to anyone infected with the disease. Not like Zelka, who'll practically give it away. Hmm. I'll just deny it. Who's Zelka gonna believe? Me or some off-world stranger? And be smart about this. You'll get a better deal selling to Davik. Look, Zelka can't afford to pay me much. If you sell the serum to Davik, I can probably get a nice finder's fee for directing you to him. Helping people is all well and good, but you have to help yourself first, right? I'm telling you, Davik will pay big credits for the cure. More than Zelka could ever afford. And then only the rich could afford the cure. Just let the poor suffer, right? If you find the Rakul serum, just take it to Zax in the lower city bounty office. He works for Davik. He'll pay you what that cure is really worth. Welcome back. Are you in need of healing or medical supplies? I can treat you right here at the center for almost any condition, except the Rakul disease, of course. I am quite busy maintaining the facility, but I suppose I could spare a bit of time to answer some questions. What would you like to know? All I know is what I was told by the people who brought these Republic soldiers here for treatment. They found the wreckage of two escape pods down in the Undercity. Goodbye, and good health to you. 
If you ever need any medical aid or treatment, you know where to find me. Is you one of the Sith? One of the bullies. No problem. You don't look like I remember when a person didn't have to worry about thieves rummaging through. Don't! Don't hurt my family! Look, just take. You ain't supposed to be here! This ain't your home!
Stay out of the lower city. That place is overrun with gangs. I heard the Sith are sending salvage teams down to the Undercity to recover those Republic escapees. No problem. Got it. Please, please don't hurt me. You don't have to kill me. I'll have Davik's money if he if he just gives me a little more time. Please, I don't want to die. Here, I've got 50 credits on me. That's all I've got. It's yours. Just don't tell Davik where I'm hiding, okay? I'm begging you. You mean, you're not here to kill me? But I, I thought you were one of Davik's bounty hunters. If you're not here to kill me, what do you want? I don't think anyone can help me. I owe Davik money, and I was late with the payment. So he went to Zach's in the bounty office and put a price on my head. I've been hiding here ever since. But sooner or later, someone will find me. Unless I somehow come up with another 200 credits. I'm a dead man. Thank you. You've saved my life. At least until one of Davik's bounty hunters finds me. I don't... I've been hiding here ever s... You'd give 200 credits to a stranger just to help them out? <laughs> I don't believe it. Well, uh, thank you. Wow, that sure was generous of you. I just hope we don't end up needing those credits later on. Now I can pay off Davik. Oh, thank you. You saved my life. Oh, I'd better go give this to Davik right away.
friends and fellow humans. I bring you a warning. A warning of a great plague spreading across our planet. Please, listen to me. My name is Gotham Kolu. Will you join my cause? We must band together if we are to stop the spread of vermin and scum throughout Taris. I am speaking of the hideous-looking aliens who walk the world of Taris. The Wookiees and Ithorians and Rodians and Bith, all of them! Listen, friend, for these are dark times. That is why I, Gorton Kolu, have formed the Anti-Alien League. The time has come for action! We cannot sit idly by while aliens blight our glorious planet! You are like all the rest. You will not see the truth. On the day of reckoning, you will suffer with the rest of the alien lovers. Come on. People like him can make trouble for us. Planet, he my... The evil... Shi Kakichin Awana Wamata Nishi La Chorga King Ching Pala Niska Mule Dun Rata Tigin Podranko The Sarcha Doma Wana Kondatama with Tim and Bon Rang Thong Mule Ra on Shaturing Um Ni Patoga Wanga Chonzi Te Ika Krotu Haku Jije Watu Yama Kama Wuna Henak Nek Kipuna, bona na kichu, kimba mule radwana, don kava numpa kumpialia monokata, king no moruat kakin chan. You'd think people would be a little more tolerant of others. I guess stupidity and ignorance will never go out of style. Genchopa chawi ti chok twis yun kun, watu yama kama wuna henak nek, bugra shak kun ti chi wa um chawa. Tong abuk shami no nok, china pala mule, tong ki ba non tontek, tum ni cha chon kun ne mule rabast. Kim kun shi kakachin awana wamata, ni shi la chorga kin kun pala mule reji, ching pala niska mule, tun rata tigin pot drunko, the searcha doma wana kondatama. Koyami, Jivo Tikchita na Patogta, Yafulke Gokala Jiji, Kawanabora Atugawa, Kanki do Rakun, Watimi Alabola Kakin cha na quat na bon con, Wanakumbes, Chi pala mulek, Tonki pa na nonek, Tu nik ton chu chun ke nemolek rabest. Bona na kachu, kicha badwang, wanga kum kiba bu mule ra, kakin chak noa gawa bakon, tonk kiba nukunek, tonga bok sha um nak nong, mucha shakapaka, ye ki kun no ba mula dra ki chi chong. Tonga bok sha um nak nong, kin kun shin shin kin, ni kin kun. Kun, Chuni, Yuni, Kavafol Pamuli Kumana,
Jishawa Anibung Kasha, Jonasi, Ichua, Byongbo Johnny. Tangabut Cha na quat. Rang thong, Muli ra on Shatoga Wanga Chonzi Te. Uchi Jay, Atu Yama Kama Wuna Henak Neck. Hakuchi Kopa, Gino Mula Rak Gampiak, Slim Jo Puan Wanduana. Randi e chawa tongbola Johnny Ku Yuma Wama Nibo Lora Wensha Waga Shichi Randi e chawa tongbola Johnny Gu Yuma Wama Nibo Lora Waisha Waga Shichi Genchopa Chawi Tichok Twis Yun Kun Watu Yama Kama Wuna Henak Nek Bugra Shak Kun Tichi Wa Um Chawa Tong Abuk Shami No Nok Kakin Cha Na Kwat Na Bon Kon Wana Kumbes Chi Pala Mulek Tong ki pa nag nonek, tu nik ton chu chun ki nemolek rabest, wuf mala nibo kurk. Tonga bok sha um nag nong, kin kun shin shin kin, nikin kun na bule mule raji kun, chuni yun ni jiji alduana, kava fol pa muli kumana. Tangabun shan om nang, wanga kun beast kin ba mula ra, choni yun tun jiji either duana, kava vulpa mulji gumana. Tanga bok sha um nak nong, kin kun shin shin kin, nikin kun na bule mule raji kun, chuni yun ni jiji alduana. Kava fol pa muli kumana. Tangabun shan om nang. Wanga kun beast kin ba mula ra. Choni yun tun jiji either duana. Kava vol pa muli gumana. Bona na kachu. Kicha ba duang. Wanga kun kiba bu mule ra. Kakin chak nawa gawa bakon. Tong ki ba nukunek, tonga bok sha um nak nong, mucha shakapaga, ye ki kun ichon. Randi e chawa, yuma wama nibo lora waisha.
problem. Didn't work. Listen to me, people. That is a terrible scourge. This planet coming to, huh? Yep. Shlomi's just walking around the upper city. Shouldn't you go to Lars says you belong, Shlomi? Well, this is rich. Yeah, like he said. These streets are for upper city citizens. <laughs> you better get out of the way if you know what's good for you. Drink? Hey, hey! For a slummy, you ain't so bad. Come on, boys, this slummy's buying the next round. <laughs> no way, forget it. No more drinks. We're light enough as it is. Uh, uh, yeah. I guess you're right. Maybe next time, slummy. <laughs> Come on, fellas, let's go. Ready? Yes?
Kara jumpa kun bayi yang mau kapa apa? Kuna naik kacu. Hingkin kuno bamuli raci kun tong nabun syanyun yang. Kara ol bamul jika mana? Iju ta, yun patisa, iman calora kun. Kikona, kawa tumpa ku bayia moka paata. Jiyoka ku tumpa ku bayia. What's on your mind? Terrace? The planet's all one big city, but its golden years are long past. And things have gotten worse since the Sith occupied it. From what I hear, the wealthy live on the tops of all the tall towers, and if you're poor, you live down in the shadows. And it gets worse the lower you go. Well, that's all I can think of, at any rate. You got it. Thank <laughs> you. 
problem. It didn't work. Problem. Got it. Kipona! Kavatumpa kurpaiya moka paata! Chiyoka kutumpa kurpaiya! Chibedwana nipobo. Tonk nabung shanun yang. Tonk Patoga Smaktelia. We eat a Nadana Itia. What a Yumaka Wama Huha Nick. A shunk turong Unipatoga. Wana kun best ching palamur tonki. Ka 
Kara dumpa kunpa yeya moka pata. Bona night kachu. Yinkin kuno ba muli rachi kun tong na bun shanyunyang. Kava volpa multi kamana. No problem. Didn't work. Chiwi aita ka chong chi cha. Agi inko tune kuna muri ra. Tangi wama jiko na. Tong ki pa no. Back base. How do I know you're not a Vulcus? A lot of people want to go inside. He's a hero of the common folk. Open door policy are gone. Dr. Gangwar, Gadon has more enemies than he used to. We're being careful about who we let in now. Well, we do need all the help we can get. And you don't look like you're with the Vulcans or the Sith. Besides, it's not like you can do anything to harm Gadon in the heart of his own base. Not with Zedra watching his back. Go in and speak to Gadon if you want. Just remember to be on your best behavior. The hidden Vex are watching you.
tigre, tudo da Pograchi, o meu compadre, tomo mochuba, não dá nada com, e da fatisa fatua, cachado tonga, pograchá com tija com, chupa caja, chupa, chau a chuis, junco, jodo de bunga rantan, cachico e da haldonga, e quem cuno ba mulera chico. Svimo podonar de odunga ku kame. Ka chikun ida odunga, ikin kuno ba mulera chikun. Svimo podonar de odunga ku kame. Tolpa da pongwale katungu chuchut. Kava dunku pelio botenya. Bonanai kuchu. Awaga bosca chocola, mucha shag panca. Jedo paduana ni di bobo, tom na bunja dununya, tom patukas mak talea. Chan shak pulara, umrao chis kaduchi, on chuban jis ka yanki, titoke gratung kun chicha kun king kacha chonobra. Bogra wala ni tumba cha. Nechi chuna chuba ching. Dorda itaku. Ta is chupunko kukibat paka. Ching para chiska mule. Tuna rana nu prata. Tunko si cha tuma wamama tuks. Keba toma. Nisha julor cha. Kingku no bule rajikun. Achuta. Unga kutbis tulpi kikumuyana. Greetings, stranger. My name is Gelrud. Are you a Pazak player by chance? It's so hard for me to find a match now that I've been banned from the Upper City Cantina. You don't have a deck? Well, we can't play unless you have your own deck. Maybe you should go talk to Garuk in the upper cantina. He's looking to retire from the game, so he might sell you his deck. He'd probably even throw in a free lesson for you. Just come back and speak to me when you get your deck. Go away. Kipona! <laughs> Three. Smart. 
game war's getting out of hand. The Falkers aren't just attacking the hidden Bex anymore. They go Kavadumpa Kapalia Monapata Bonanakachu Yin Kin Kun no ba mule rachi kun tong na bun shanu yang. Ti konto una chaba chisa wanki. Ti toki grantu kon chichan kun green kanchan to pro. Bok wala no bok cha. Ni chi kon chuba kin lota ik kun. Kipuna bona na kichu. Kin ba mule ratwana. Tong kin ba no kudnok nek. Kava numpa kum pialia monokata. Ranga kun bis kin no moruat. Kakin chana guana por con. Tanga bu chan om nang. Wanga kun bis kin ba mula ra. Choni yun tun gigi ida duana. Kava vulpa muji gumana. Witi men bon rang thong. Mule ra on shag foring um ni patoga wanga chan zi tse. Ika krotu haku gigi. Watu yama kama wuna henak nek. Mana mana tota hakuchi krala bolaji chok shuntang shun kipa unna panka muli rikon kili kun kili no ba wati monya la kona ona kun muli ra tinku ukaba topa no aska chi nisko na akaba abaka Mana mana tota hakuchi kratinku Kin kun shi kakichin awana wamata Nishi la chorga kin kun pala mona reji Ching pala niska mule tun rata tigin po tronko Disarcha doma wana kondatama Randi i chawa tombola johnny ku Yuma wama nibo lora waisha waga shi chin Ta kum jus tak miki grabul moko Kachichu ita bodunga Turbo Bank, Wale Uganda Naru Chuchut. Mule Shia Punga, Bola Wana Chikne. Mule Slimo, Puta Dada Nanga Kumbis, Mule Rabes. Runda Tiho Tonga Kun Hanka Bi. Wana Kun Bez, Ching Bala Mule, Tung King Ba Nuno Dek. Tung Ning Chatu Kun Ne, Mule Rabes. Can Chopa Chawi teach up Twiz Yun Kun? Atu yama kama wuna henak nek Bugra shak kunti chi wa um chawa Dong abuk shami no nok Bona na kachu Kicha badwang Wanga kum kiba bu mule ra Kakin chak nawa gawa bakon Dong kiba nukun nek Tong abuk sha um nak nong Kukimak panka, cing pala ciska mule tu nerana nu prata tungko si cha tu ma wamama tuks kebo toma ni sha julor cha king kuno bule rajiko. Shagji kina lor cha watam wana king kun si si king ni king kun ban mula rajikun wama kun bes cing pala mule tu nerana nu prata tungko searcher doma tama. We team and bone rank thong. Mule ra on shag foring um ni patoga wanga chon zi tse. Ika krotu haku jije. Watu yama kama wuna hen at neck.
Tam. Munira a shang turung ni na potata tuanga chun tiza. Jijiwa, what a juma. Who na take? We team and bo. Rang on shang turing um ni patoka. Ika krotu hakuji. DJ, come on, wanna hit the neck. Chikul ida haldonga, i kinku no pa mule ra chikul. Svimo podo na rudi haldonga ku ngabe. Shagji kina locha watambwana, kinkun shishikin ni kinkun ba mula ra jikun. Wama kun bes ching pala mule tune rana nut prata donko searcher domatama. Ucha haldonga ya fulke. Chachiska do punta casa pupaka, pana unto. Mokau danya foki, chachiska do punta kakaspaka, vano oto. Ta kunju stak miki, grabul moko, kachichu ita mondunga. Tolno bank, wale oganda naru chuchut. Mogesha punka, bola wana chikne. Mamule slimo, puta dana nanga kubis. Mule rabes. Gigi hakuji locha kinkuna. Vamole rigi kun. Kaji chutula poto to punta casa tapunk. Naita haudanga walaganto da naga to chuchu mukiti choke. Tu umpikita. We team and borang thong. Mule ra on shaturing um ni patoka wanga chonzi te. Ika krotu hakuji je. Atu yama kama wuna henak nek. Kuyami juz chikata na patoga ya hulki kokogana. Chiska nichu. Inba muli rabwana ji. Inba. I saw Kalo Nord in the tap room. He's a legend in this business. I wonder if he'd give me an autograph. These are good times for bounty hunters. I made a small fortune on the bounty Zax has been paying out.
So give me some space, bug eye. Your breath smells like bantha poodoo. Kuyami, juski, chika, nai. Tong pakoga, smak tia. Dabis, jubong, kuki, punk pa. Tong ituama ji, human actin, ikatune. Who you call a little girl, chuba face? Kuba batu, konchi. Jiska da soki, kuba bona na chaju. Just a sec, boys. Sawbar, a little help here? I need you to rip the legs off some insects. <laughs> Complaining. You can finish eating later. Besides, you need the exercise, so get over here. You got a problem with me? Then you got a problem with Big Z. So unless you want to take on my furry friend, I suggest you greenies hop on out of here. Say, I don't recognize you, and I know pretty much everyone in the lower city. You must be new down here. I guess that makes me and Big Z your official welcoming committee. It's not that strange. Most aliens can speak basic, they just prefer to use their own language. But I grew up here on Terra, so I just sort of got used to speaking a native tongue. You showed a lot of guts dealing with those Valkyrs, kid. You got a name? My name's Mission Veo, and this big Wookiee is my best friend Zalbar. I offer to give you a tour, but the streets down here aren't safe. But if there's anything else you need... We just kind of fell in together. It ain't easy on your own here in the lower city. Everyone's always looking to push you around. So we noticed. Still, you seem like an odd pair. When I met up with Zalbar, it seemed like a pretty good match. I knew we could look out for each other. With my street smarts and his muscle, we make a great team. Well, you came to the right person. If you want info on Lower Terrace, I'm the one to talk to. Davig, the Lower City Gangs. I even got the scoop on that bounty hunter, Calo Nord. Kalanord's one of the most famous bounty hunters in the galaxy. He's killed more people than the Iridium Plague. I've seen him kill people just for trying to talk to him. He hangs around Zack's bounty office, but I don't think he's looking for work there. All the postings there are small time, way beneath the bounty hunter of his caliber. I figure kalo has been hired by Davik to do a special job for the exchange. I'd wager a thousand credits that as soon as the quarantine ends, he'll be getting off this rock. There's only two gangs worth worrying about here in the lower city. The Black Volkers and the Hidden Becks. Sometimes Zalbar and I hang out at the Beck base. The Becks are led by Gaddon Beck. He's a good guy. Lost his sight in a swoop bike accident a few years ago, but even blind, he's a great leader. Not like that traitor Brezhik. Before he took over the Volkers, he was a Hidden Beck. Gaddon considered that ungrateful space lug his adopted son. Davik's part of the Intergalactic Crime Syndicate, but I guess everyone knows that. But I hear he's got a new ship for his smuggling operations, the Ebon Hawk. I don't know much about space travel, but I hear that ship's fast enough to break the Sith blockade. Of course, this is all just secondhand rumor. Where would he keep it, do you know? If Davik does have a ship, he's got it locked up in his estate. Nobody gets in there, except the people working for Davik and the Exchange. There's only Bex not like. When Gadden went blind, everyone figured he'd step down and appoint Brezhik in his place. But Gadden figured Brezhik wasn't ready yet. He wanted him to wait a few years. But Brezhik was too impatient. He left to join the Volkers, and ever since, he's been waging a war to wipe Gadden and his Bex from the face of Terrace. This gang war in the lower city is totally the Volkers' fault. They're the ones killing everything that moves out on the streets. It's like they've gone insane. You going? Yeah, this dive is pretty boring. No action around here. Come on, Big Z, let's go. <laughs> Can't you think about something besides your stomach for five minutes? Come on. We'll go see if there's anything good to eat at the Beck base.
Yes, what's on your mind? It's all one big city, but it's golden years. From what? Well, that's all. Ask me questions later, didn't I? Is it I don't know. I don't have a problem with it, really. Go ahead and... No, I was just joking. Though, you do seem to be rather refreshing, to be honest. Let me ask you something. Battle aboard the Endar Spire over and over in my head since we crashed. Some things just don't add up for me. Maybe you could tell me what happened, from your perspective. Is as powerful as I say. She's the one who defeated Darth Revan, after all. Mm. I guess that no Jedi ability, no matter how powerful, makes up for being completely surprised and outmatched. We didn't choose that battle anyway. It got forced on us. Hell, I'm, I'm, I'm just as surprised that any of us are alive to talk about it. Come to think of it, it's more than a little surprising that you happen to be here, isn't it? I mean, just what is your position with the Republic fleet anyway? That makes sense. Still, it seems a bit strange that someone who is a last-minute addition to the crew roster is one of the survivors. You were the only one. Not to mention that Bastila's party was the one who requested your transfer. The Jedi requested numerous things when they came on board. I mean, hell, they practically took over the ship, as far as I could tell. Considering your connection to Bastila and the Jedi, but whether you know it or not, your presence here seems a little convenient. And this is probably nothing, I know. I learned a long time ago not to take things at face value, however, and I hate surprises. I expect you're right. I've got no real reason to suspect you of anything. Still, it's better to be safe than sorry, right? Look, it has nothing to do with you personally. I don't trust anyone. And I have my reasons. And no, I'm not going to discuss them, so can we just keep our mind on more important things? All right, all right. You're pretty damn tenacious. You know that? We'll talk about it, but later. Right now, I just want to get going. Patoga Yakuri Kokala Gigi 
tingkuin ko ka tonghit wana jis at kat agi inko tune chula muli ra tongpa nong kunek abog smilia tingkuin ko ka patoga yak puli ko kala jiji ki muli ra kun king tonghit wama at inko tune Kimba no konik dota. Patisa, patisa. Kuba baska doana chicho pa muska. Kimba ni chaloda kun. Kiyo mabat mali o no wish. Kakin cha na labaka on. Kun muli ras ni mo poy wanga to kimba no konik sa chachiska. To pa na oto bokasa. I'm sorry, I didn't see you there. My we like dancers. Look at them. I normally go for these alien girls, but I lately. Maybe it's time for a change. You're here. I guess Zax must have mentioned me to you at the bounty. I don't care who takes her out. Just it's done. I can't let her get away with what she has tried to cut me with her vibro blade. Because she's crazy. And the next thing I know, she's coming at me. Sounds to me like she was defending herself. I admit I was drunk. Maybe I got a little fresh. But it was no big deal. She didn't have to cut me. Hey, you weren't there. She totally overreacted. What? I can't do that. Think how it would look. I work for Davik. I've got a certain reputation to uphold. I can't let her get away with this. There has to be payback. Although, I do feel a little guilty about all this. Dia's a good-looking gal. It'll be a shame to kill her. Tell you what, I'll take 200 credits in exchange for lifting the bounty. If I let her get away with it, I'll look even worse. She's got to pay, either with her life or 200 credits to buy my forgiveness. Don't worry, I'll stick to my end of the bargain. I'll go tell Zax right now that the bounty is off the table. Mucha shakapaka, ye ki kun no ba mulagra ki chichon. What do you want now? This we don't have anything to discuss. Fine by me. That means I dancing girls. Jim 
Didn't work. No problem. Didn't work. Hold it right there. Who are you? And what is your business with Gadden? Calm down, Zerdra. Nobody's going to try anything here in the middle of our own base. It would be a suicide mission. You're too trusting, Gadden. Brezhik and his Valkyrs want you dead. Anyone we don't know is a potential threat, and it's my job to make sure you're safe. Do you want us to start attacking strangers on sight, Zerdra? Like the Valkyrs do? I will never let it come to that. Now step aside and let them pass. As you wish. You can speak to Gadden if you want, but I've got my eye on you. You try anything and you'll be vaporized before you can say Valkyr spy. You'll have to forgive Zerdra. Ever since Brezhik and the Vulkers began this war against us, she's been a little overzealous in her security duties. The problems with the Sith haven't helped things. Zerdra seems to forget that I know how to look after myself. Now, how can I help you? The escape pods? You know, I heard the Sith have been asking around the upper city about them as well. But you don't look like you're with the Sith. They might be spies, Gadden. They might be working for the Sith. Calm down, Zerdra. If the Sith thought we knew anything useful, they'd have a battalion of troops kicking down our door. No, I think this offworlder has his own agenda. I suppose I could tell you what I know. It's not like it could do any harm to me or my gang. But it might cause problems for the Vulcas, and that's okay in my book. The Vulcas stripped those pods clean within hours after they landed. It's too bad we didn't get there first, considering what my spies reported the Vulcas found. A female Republic. Abash. We Becks don't believe even if the Vulcas aren't so picky. would take a captured slave and sell them for, for an off-world slaver. But a Repub catch. I still think Bastila is just a Repub could work to our advantage. Maybe she'll even figure out her base on her own. She's too valid at the base. Brezhik's probably somewhere safe until the big swoop race. You'll never find her. I'm afraid your friend has become a pawn in Brezhik's game to take over the lower city. He's offered her up as the Vulcan's share of the prize in the annual Swoop Gang race. By putting up such a valuable prize, Brezhik hopes to win the loyalty of some of the smaller gangs. Their numbers will allow him to finally destroy me and my followers. So how do you propose we go about rescuing Bastila then? Well, we can't fight all the gangs. The only hope you have of rescuing Bastila is to somehow win the big season opener of the Swoop race. I might be able to help you with this, if you'd be willing to help us. We both have something to gain here, and much to lose. The swoop race is for the lower city gangs only. I could sponsor you as a rider for the Hiddenbecks this year. If you win the race, you'll win your friend's freedom. But first, you have to do something for me. 
My mechanics have developed an accelerator for a swoop engine. A bike with the accelerator installed can beat any other swoop out there. But the Vulkers stole the prototype from us. They plan to use it to guarantee a victory in this year's swoop race. I need you to break into their base and steal it back. Getting into the Vulcan base won't be easy. The front doors are locked tight. But I know someone who might be able to get you in the back way. Mission Veil. Vale. Mission? Gaddon, you can't be serious. She's just a kid. How is she supposed to help them with this? Mission's explored every step of every back alley in the lower city. Plus, she knows the undercity sewers better than anyone. If anyone can get inside the Vulcan base, it's her. She and her Wookiee friend Zalbar are always looking to stir up a little excitement. They like to go exploring in the Undercity, despite the dangers. Your best bet is to look for her in the Undercity. But you'll need some way past the Sith Guard post at the elevator. A simple disguise might have worked on the Upper City Guard, but the security down here is much tougher. You'll need the proper papers to get past him. Luckily, my gang ambushed one of the Sith patrols headed down to the Undercity. They never made it, and their security papers fell into my hands. Since we're working together now, I suppose I could give them to you in exchange for your uniforms. With the security papers, you won't need a disguise anyway. Good choice. Thanks for the uniforms. You won't need them with these security papers anyway. Now. Is there anything else I can do for you? Your time would probably be better spent going after the prototype swoop engine the Vulcan stole from us. But I'll answer your questions if I can. She and her Wookiee friend Zalbar are always looking to... Your best bet is... I suggest you... Didn't work.
You guys are behind with your payments. What do you, uh, you think just because you're in some gang, you don't have to give Davik his cut? Ah, so you want to play this the hard way. <laughs> okay. Tony Pudu! Rana no prata don't know, Sarcha! It's you a penki! What are you doing? I'm a mulera! 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 I knew you boys would see reason. Now get out of here! Too bad. I was looking forward to cracking some heads. Maybe next time, Candrus. I better get this over to Davik. I'll call you if anyone else gets behind on their payments. Those Valkers are dumber than a chorus and granite slug. They actually think being in that pathetic little gang of theirs makes them important. Gadon keeps his hidden Bex in line, but Brezhik's getting dreams of grandeur. If Davik's smart, he'll slap that young punk back down. Bad side of. And I'm not one for small talk. I don't have time to stick around here anyway. Davik's got me working on a special assignment. There's a bounty on your little green heads. I'm here to collect. That's the plan.